Hey there guys, yo and hello, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again, and welcome back to another, I can't even do my hand movement here because my camera's being poopy, okay, and welcome back to another in regards to, now this in regards to is actually about something that I've actually noticed in certain cases, um, and this is only from, um, from word um, of ear, by ear I should say. Um, it's about something, it's kind of menial, but to me, I think it's kind of important, especially for parents, in this case, dads. Now, if you're going out, you have your child with you, and it's, they're not potty trained, right? So, of course, you have to change their diapers. You bring them inside the, the bathroom, of course, if you're a dad, you have to use the men's bathroom. So, you go in there, but you, there's nothing to change the baby on. There's no table, so what do you do? You're going to have to, unfortunately, either improvise or find a bench. And usually it's kind of hard to do that on a bench because people are walking by. People may be eating or whatever, what have you. And you're trying to change the baby's diaper and it kind of grosses people out. So that's that's the key issue that I wanted to talk about is that there's usually primarily, I'm not going to say all, but primarily there is usually no changing tables in the men's bathrooms in public. And why is that? Probably because they feel like, oh, the mom, that's their responsibility, They're usually with the mom, and the mom will take care of the changing needs, so they usually just put changing tables in the women's room. But I don't think that's really a good idea. I think that it should be in both restrooms, men's and women's, because like I said, you're not always going to be with mom. Sometimes you're going to have to spend the day with dad, the baby, and dad's going to have to find a place to change the baby. And of course, the, what will make the most sense? To do it outside or to take them to the bathroom and put them on the table with this nice table. You can just do what you have to do there. That's the key issue here. What I think is um, important that um, you shouldn't just like, um, I wouldn't say discriminate, but I don't think it's, like I said, I don't think it's a good idea to just put changing tables in the ladies' room, you know, because like, yeah. It, it it should be in both, pretty much. That's pretty much all I'm saying, is that it should be in both restrooms. Now, like, if I'm married, you know, and I when I have become a mom one day, not anytime soon, but one day, I would like to be able to, you know, be able to um have my child go with my husband, you know, and be able to have take care of the needs in that regard of changing. I mean, I know, yeah, they do have change mats, but sometimes you don't always have access to a changing mat. So you have to use the bathroom. And if there's no table in there, what are you supposed to do? Put them on the floor? Hell no. That's disgusting. That's even more gross. Or you put your baby on the bathroom floor? Ew. Or, or you sit on the, the public toilet and, 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 and put them on your lap and change them. Unfortunately, you got to do what you got to do. But to avoid these problems, I think it would be a good idea to make sure that you have changing tables in both restrooms. Now... Um, it seems that people, I guess, are taking notice of this. I guess other like moms and parents and things like that are taking notice of it and then pitching it to places, I guess, making in demand or signing petitions and things like that to get that happening. Because there are, um, like in some places, they do have change, changing tables in both restrooms, which is good. And even more to the fact, they also have a, what they call, like in some malls, I, one time I went, I think it's um, Queens Mall? I've been there and they do have a little room. They have a little room there for nursing mothers and parents to go with their babies. With they're not potty trained or you just take them in there and you can sit with them, breastfeed if you need to, things like that. It's nice to take these things into consideration because it's hard on parents. You know, you, you can't always, I mean, I'm not a parent speaking from experience, but from what I see, it's not easy. It's kind of hard to, you know, so to make it easier, I think these things should be put in place. I think so. I think it will be a very good idea. That way, if your child is with dad and they need to be changed, okay, take you into the bathroom, put you down on that table, change that stinky diaper, and be gone. Yeah, no struggle, no nothing, not going to worry about people, Um, you know. Ew, stinky, it smells like shit. Oh, shut up. But like, you know, it's the most sensible, most logical thing to, to just not put changing tables in the ladies' room, but also put it in the men's room. 
because, you know, it takes two, like, you know, and it, I think it's a, I just really think it's a good idea. And I'm hoping that more places will consider this, um, even, um, like not just to the fact that, um, you know, just men's and women specifically, but even in a unisex bathroom, you know, just a one single, a single seat, um, well, what, what I like to call a one seater just has one toilet, one sink. There should be a change of table in there because people have kids, you know, it's like, it's not like kids don't exist. And sometimes I don't think people that build these things, these buildings or restaurants or whatever, what have you, they don't think about, oh, someone might be coming in to have a kid. I should accommodate that. Make sure you have everything, especially when it comes in the bathroom, you know, have that change of table right there on the side. So you don't have to worry. I mean, like, cause ugh, it's just, it's just, like I said, it's a struggle for some parents to do that. And it will make it much easier on them if you provide these things. Being a public, um, a public place. So that's about it. I don't want to make it too long. That's about it. I just think that um, more places need to consider putting change tables, not only in the ladies' room, but the men's room. Put them in both so that it will make it easier to accommodate parents. So that's it. That's my in regards to. Tell me, let me know what you think if you're a parent, um, if you're a dad specifically, do you, when you go into the men's room, um, do you see any change tables or not? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll pin a comment. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And don't hesitate to let me know of anything you'd like me to talk about in regards to. I'm open to topics, so just leave it down in the comments. You know what to do. <laughs> so I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. So till then, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye, guys.